I was in the gym yesterday and I'd rushed straight from work. I did a hit class and as soon as I walked out, I thought that was probably not the best idea to be sweating while I've got a full face of makeup on. So I'd love to talk to you about fitness, skincare, makeup, yeah. and what the best play is. First things first, yeah. is it bad to work out wearing makeup? So in an ideal world, it would be best not to have a full face, heavy base on your skin if you're going to do a sweaty exercise class like a HIIT class. The reason being that the makeup and the layers that you have on your skin combined with sweat, heat, can create occlusion and you might find that you end up breaking out. Now that said, sometimes you're in a rush. Sometimes people choose to wear makeup because they feel they want to conceal parts of their skin. You know, you may have a bit of rosacea, a bit of acne, and you feel that you don't want to be out makeup free. And in that scenario, I would say don't beat yourself up about it. But what you can do is just think about what kinds of makeup you're using. So maybe go for a waterproof mascara rather than a heavy base of foundation. Maybe just use a little bit of concealer where you need it. But ideal scenario would be makeup free, but you know, there are shades of gray and if you do need to wear it, just think about what you can accentuate and where you can cut back. And then one thing I have noticed after my workout's done and I will stay hot for hours, my makeup just slides off my face. But I put moisturizer on, am I just locking the heat in? No, and I think actually you're doing the right thing. It is important after you've done your workout, you firstly shower, cleanse straight away. You don't want that sweat, that dirt sitting on your skin. But after you've cleansed your skin, you do need to do that routine again. So your ideal routine, you've done your cleanser, your moisturizer, your sunscreen, they do need to go back on to make sure that your skin is ready to face the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Now, if you find that you do get very hot, maybe carrying like a cooling water spray afterwards yeah. may help. And what happens if you can't wash your face straight away? If you can't wash your face straight away, then I think at least a quick cleanse is ideal. What I really don't like to see is a sweaty face, you're still very sweaty. Half an hour later, you've still not done any form of cleansing. So options could include maybe using something like a micellar water mm -hmm. to essentially wipe the skin down. Wipes, although they're kind of becoming less popular mainly because of environmental considerations. Ideal scenario, maybe actually just using a face wash, some water, and actually just washing your face at the sink at least before you leave. Something that I was talking to a friend about the other day actually is that after she works out, she notices that she gets acne on her back and her chest. Yeah. Um, that's obviously common. Why does that happen and what can be done to prevent it? Yeah, so this is again, partly a combination of wearing tight lycra, sport, tight sports bras, then you're sweating and then you've got heat, you've got the occlusion, you've got the pressure from the bra itself. So this is exactly why ideally after the workout, one should shower immediately to get that sweat off, get out of that tight clothing. I think a lot of us are also habit, in the habit of wearing gym wear as daily wear, and that doesn't help either. If you are unable to shower immediately after your workout, you don't want to use the changing rooms at the gym, then using something that has got salicylic acid in it, so using either a wipe or a toner or even a spray, and just wiping down the chest and the back before you leave the gym are super important. Because gyms aren't necessarily the cleanest places, right? Yeah, so I think one thing that I certainly notice in my practice as a dermatologist is the wart virus can live on wet surfaces. So gyms, communal showers, weights which haven't been wiped down properly, they can easily end up causing issues such as warts or verrucas. So one thing that I know I personally do is I always wear flip-flops in the shower at the gym to make sure that I'm not going to be picking anything up. That is very good dedication. But I think I even would pick up a hand weight and then touch my face, which is still disgusting. I mean, it's not ideal because let's assume somebody has got a wart on their hand and they've been very sweaty, they've touched the weight. That weight hasn't been wiped down. If you've got any cuts on your hand, your skin barrier has broken down. You go, you pick up that weight, that wart is living on a sweaty surface, and there is a chance that you may end up catching it from that. So. Gym hygiene is actually really important and gym etiquette, which is why yeah. we should be wiping stuff down after we've used equipment, really as courtesy for the next person. I think I'm going to buy a pair of gloves. <laughs> so that's exercise inside. Mm. Uh, any advice for those who like to run outside? 
Yeah, so I think it's really important if you're training outside, be that running or any other sport, you are wearing sunscreen. Ideally a factor 30 to 50. And the one comment I would make here is that women in particular are very good at remembering to put sunscreen on their face. But often, if you're outside, you're training in a vest or shorts, people don't think about the other exposed parts of their body, like their limbs. And interestingly, melanoma is most common on the lower leg of females. Melanoma being that skin cancer that we worry about. So it's very important if you're doing any sport outside, any exposed part of your body has got sunscreen on it. So wash your face as soon as you can after working out. Wipe down any equipment before you use it because presumably the last person that did hasn't. And wear SPF on your legs in addition to your face when you're outside.